April 12th, 2020. Update on the old Asian garden. So uh, every good Asian garden needs a water feature. Koi pond. My mother-in-law used this for, I don't know, six or eight or 10 years and decided she didn't want it anymore. So now I'm gonna get to use it for free. Daddy. Waddy. I got a, all right, let's start up over here. So some reeds, some, these are some native reeds that I got for five bucks a piece. Okay. I think they look great. We are I had to hide my little Walmart hosta back here. It said on the container, I love sun. No, it does not. The sun burns it. So I got to hide it back there in the shade. Got an Asiatic lily. Got another hosta. This one has darker leaves and seems to be fine in the sun. A uh, sweet flag. A New Zealand phlox. I love this guy. I love this uh, red and green. It's great. What else do we got? We got our Chushan palms in the cordy line. I got a miscanthus grass, uh, Sarabande. Excuse me. That'll get oh huge. A lot like pompous grass. And I got my cold hardy kiwis. And I think that's about it for now. Lots of digging to do to install this with that rickety old wheelbarrow. Lots of digging. We got the last dying rays of sunlight coming in here. Broken through the trees. The garden looks pretty cool. Surprisingly, it only took about four hours to dig the hole. I leveled the bottom, put down some sand, and then put the liner in. And as I was filling it back up, filling up the hole with dirt all around the pond liner, I was smashing the dirt down and I created some high spots. So the bottom was level, but the top was not. So when I filled it up with water, I had some pretty big unevenness. Places that were a few inches proud. So I spent most of today getting it level. The places that were high, I dug out. I would dig out the uh, dirt around it and then stand on the liner and kind of push it down a little bit in the low places there's two ways to do the low places you can hook a ratchet strap onto the edge of the liner and then anchor the other end of the ratchet strap to something and ratchet it until it lifts it up and then you shove dirt back in down the, the back side or you can just pull up really hard but it's really hard I've got it all within about an inch of level now. It's pretty good. I think my highest spot is right there. And that's probably half an inch, three quarters of an inch, something like that. Yeah. The low spot, when you overfill it, it runs out over there underneath that great big heavy rock. I think I need to make a spillway there because it's, it's going to get overfilled sometimes. I think I'd rather have the water run away from the pond instead of going underneath it. The reeds look great. That uh, New Zealand flax looks good by the water. There's my porcelain, ceramic, whatever he is. Elephant from Thailand. He's right at home in the tropical garden. The miscanthus is going to look good when it grows in. That's a Japanese grass. Still gotta figure out how I'm gonna do the stream trickling into it though. That'll be fun. Oh, I think our sunlight's all gone. But it's nice. I can sit down right here in my chair and just enjoy my tropical garden with a beautiful view of a 1994 Dutchman travel trailer. I need to move that somewhere else, I guess. I need to put up some shrubs or something. 
Oh, my Asiatic lilies are starting to open. So that's going to look really cool here in a few days. They're just getting there, just starting to open. Last thing I need to do is, well, not the last thing. The next thing I need to do is install a solar powered pump to get some circulation going in there. And then we're going to get some koi fish or some goldfish. I'm not sure what kind yet. I don't know anything about koi fish, so I got to read up on them. Yep, Tropical Garden is coming along. We'll get there someday. Can't wait till the last frost so I can put my elephant ears in the ground.